Okay, so you're probably watching this video because you need a pain management system and you're either on a lot of medication that you want to stop or it's just not working for you. I'm going to show you something that worked for me, for my TOS, what I used to use every single day and it helped me in my recovery. So let me show you what it does. Hey, what's up guys? Okay, so today I want to talk about a TENS unit. Now, there are a lot of people that don't use a TENS unit or they don't know what a TENS unit is. And this little device really helped me in my recovery. So what it does, it has two pads and it sends electrical impulses to the nerves right under the skin. Now, what, what that helps with is blocking the nerve pain. So say you've got an injury on your shoulder and you've got pain in that area. You place pads around the shoulder and from the brain to the shoulder, it interrupts those, those nerve paths. So you place the pads on and you'll see that you don't have any pain in the area anymore. And what that helps with is it loosens up the muscle, it gets rid of the pain, and you'll also find that it brings in blood to the area. So the more blood you have in a muscle or in an area, it can help with healing of the nerves, it can help with healing of the muscle tissue itself, and uh, the more blood you have there, it's just great for getting that blood supply flowing again, getting better nerve function, and easing up with it, easing up the pain by healing up the area. So what I'm gonna show you is where to place the pads, because a lot of people have problems placing the pads for TOS, and I find that a lot of people place them in the wrong areas, and they don't get the benefits of the TENS unit. So there's a few do's and don'ts with the TENS unit as well. Pretty obvious ones is don't use cream or oil um, before placing the pads on because they're sticky pads and that interferes, can't stick properly. Um, keep them away from your eyes. Some people I've seen uh, placing them on their temples and all around their face. Don't do that. It just, you don't ha have any reason to place a, a tense unit around your eye area. Another one is, um, specifically says do not place the pads on opposing sides near your heart. So you don't want to place one on your chest and on your back. You don't need any signals, electrical signals going through your heart. Um, I wouldn't place it anywhere around my chest on the heart side, on your left side. Um, I've seen some guys do tens videos where they place it directly onto both their pecs and it loosens up their pecs. Uh, I wouldn't advise that because you don't want any impulses around your heart area. The next thing is if you have any hot conditions or you have a pacemaker, you definitely don't want any electrical signals externally coming in and disrupting those, those signals of the pacemaker. So just double check everything with your doctor, but uh, those are just some safety tips that you should keep aware of. And it's pretty common sense. Some people just do stupid things and get themselves into trouble and hurt themselves further by doing the stupidest little things without thinking properly. So what I'm gonna show you is where to place it, where it helped me the most. And the, the first pad, usually I would use two. You can connect another cable and put four, but uh, I found that two was perfect for me because it, it's a little bit stronger and it helps relax that muscle a lot faster. So the first pad I would place on my upper trap, somewhere around here between the shoulder blade and the spine. So make sure you are at least two fingers away from the spine. You don't want to go too close to the spine. And you can place it just up at the top of the trap. And I find that that loosens up the trap muscle and it goes down into the rhomboid and it really loosens up that nicely. So let me just peel this off. I've done this so many times that I can just feel exactly where I want it. So it's basically just sitting on the trap. Make sure it's like centered in the trap, all directions. You've got your little trap muscle, try to find that center spot. It just will contract that trap muscle nicely and loosen it up nicely. The next pad I wanna place is on the pec, not directly on the pec minor itself, but where the pec minor attaches. Now the pec minor attaches to the upper humerus and you just wanna go a little bit above that. So basically you're gonna put it on your front deltoid which is about there. So it's just off the chest and it's between where the, the pec minor is and where it attaches. So you basically got 
that whole section where it's gonna relax that muscle. So you've got your two pads, trap and the front here, and those are the two main compression areas that get tight. Your trap will get tight and tense, causing that, that rib to lift a bit more, and your pec minor pulls forward, which gives that muscle imbalance, and it puts extra pressure on, onto the compression site. So having this muscle loosen up and have your front deltoid where the pec, just where the pec minor passes, and the trap muscle is two opposing parts that are, is really gonna help loosen up that compression area. So you can start off by just turning it on very gently and you can feel a little buzzing feeling. It almost feels like, it feels like electricity, but not really, but it's like a small buzz. And you can just find the setting that really helps you. Now what you wanna do, you can either lay down or you just wanna relax this muscle. You don't wanna keep too much movement around here. You just wanna find a nice comfy spot, rest your head, rest your arm, and then you can play around with the, the control settings and see what feels the best. What I found was that in, initially when I had severe compression, I couldn't really feel the tingling, I couldn't feel the impulse as much. But I would keep it at a low setting and after about 10 minutes, I could slowly feel the impulses because that's the nerve getting some feeling back, some blood's coming into the area and that muscle's loosening up. And what I would find is that if I had a severe flare up, I'd put this on and I know I wouldn't feel anything, so I kept on a low setting. And after those 10 minutes, you start feeling something. Eventually, after 20 minutes, that muscle was starting to jump and twitch and it, it, it really got a lot of blood flow. So keep it on for about 20 minutes. You might not feel something. Don't pump up the power like crazy because they can get quite powerful, some TENS units. This is just a very basic one. Um, you can get more advanced ones with touch screens now. They look like smartphones. This one's like really entry level, but that's all you need. And uh, it's just about placing them in the correct places to get the benefits. So keep it on for about 20 minutes at a time. I used to do it like at least five times a day, just at intervals when I was feeling really bad. I'd lay in bed or lay on the couch, watch a movie, put the TENS unit on. And it's almost like a trigger point massage without actually doing anything. And it gets enough blood there and it loosens up the muscle enough just to help with the pain and even if the muscle doesn't get loose enough to relieve the compression completely, um, you'll feel a lot better after using it and you'll feel a lot less pain, which is the key. So if you can get your hands on a TENS unit and I promise you it's gonna help you. It also helps with uh, relaxing the muscle just enough that you can go do a stretch. So what I would do is get a stretch that I wanted to do. Say I wanted to stretch my pec minor in the door frame, I would do put this on, relax the muscle a lot, and by the time I went to go do the stretch, my muscle was relaxed enough to actually stretch without causing too much pain, and it actually loosened up the muscle just enough so I could get that extra bit of stretch in and just help me in my recovery. So give that a try. If you're in too much pain to do a stretch or something, try the, try the TENS unit, go do a stretch, and I promise you that with consistent use and consistent stretching, you're gonna find a lot of pain relief and you're gonna get healthier and you're going to feel a lot more supple in your muscles, better range of movement and you're just going to feel a lot better. So I hope this helps you. Give it a try. Uh, please uh, subscribe and like the video if it's helped you and uh, leave a comment if you, if you want any other topics covered um, or if you have any questions about the TENS unit, just let me know in the comment below and I'll definitely get back to you.